welcome back guys to yet another video of easy Mac. my name is rajib and today this video is going to be about the ngk iridium spark plugs so the stock spark plugs that come along with the yama accessor is a copper one as you can see this is of made of copper the central electrode and uh, obviously this is made of uh, good quality material and from a company that is like the pinnacle of all spark plugs that is from ngk the model number is mr8e9 so in ngk spark plugs uh, the model number uh, actually specifies different parameters like physical dimensions heat rating design features or materials uh, if I consider the model CPR8EAIX, uh, the C stands for the thread diameter that is 10 millimeter. The P stands for the construction feature that is projected insulator type. As you can see, the nose of the spark plug is projected more into the combustion chamber as compared to the other one. The R stands for the resistor type construction. Uh, it contains an internal resistor that suppresses the ignition noise and prevent electronic interference. The number 8 is indicates a specific heat range of the spark plug. The lower the number, the colder the spark plug will be. The hotter the plug, the more the number will be. So, yeah, there you have it. And E stands for the reach. This is very important cpr 8 eix uh, the e stands for specific reach the a denotes a specific design character maybe and the ix in the end stands for a fine wire iridium central electrode and if you want to go more deep into it you can obviously have google on your side first of all as you can see there is one model you can see it's cpr 8 eix 9 okay uh, and another one as you can see it's CR8EIX so in this video uh, let me give you a brief uh, what I'm going to show you that uh, which spark plug or basically which model of NGK iridium spark plug is compatible with the accessor so what is exactly the difference let me show you one by one so if you consider the overall length of these spark plugs so let me show you the outside insulator length is exactly the same the thread is exactly the same but the difference lies in the uh, overall length of this side which is going to be inside your cylinder okay so this one which is mentioned in LRL motors as uh, ngk iridium spark plug that fits in rm5 is basically is not going to be very compatible with your rm5 or mt15 or even xsr engine let me explain it to you so what happened is um, in single cylinder soic engine the spark plug is not exactly in the middle it sits on a slanted way like this so when you fit a spark plug like this the internal length of this tip matters a lot because whenever this doesn't reach to the desired position the spark does not ignite on the exact center of the compression stroke and with that the piston is not going to last long because the spark position is going to be different as you can see this is quite a bit of short if you see just about the tip this and this are almost on the same scale but this one is a little shorter maybe by it two or three millimeters but trust me it's going to cause a lot of issues and it's not going to perform very well so if i place this just after the original stock spark plug you can see the electrode length or the spark generation is approximately in the same height but not with this fella so ignore this one guys 
a lot of uh, websites you may find that the cr x is compatible with rm5 but trust me it is not the performance is not good as you can see this is already used in my bike i've been trying and testing all of these for quite a while now and i can assure you that this one doesn't perform well uh, it's better to stick with the stock one instead of buying this particular model the cr8 eix if you really want to explore the potential or you want to explore the iridium refineness go for this one cpr8 eix this is uh, the spark plug and uh, i bought this from amazon and linked in the description uh, all of these bought with my own money so you can assure about the honesty and uh, genuinity of this video and as you can see uh, let me show you another thing to how to verify a genuine spark plug from ngk because there is a lot of counterfeit products available in the market so if you check the spark plug uh, there will be retained japan over here uh, and another thing to mention is that there is a model number or a batch number uh, you can see over here so both of these spark plugs are authentic and genuine no doubt about that but the problem with this particular model the cr8 eix model is that it doesn't work very well because only of the length let me quickly show you a real um, example so that uh, you get uh, um, get a clear concept of how a, a not so exactly centered fire can cause an issue while burning let me show you by lighting up a cigarette so just for an example as i've already uh, told you that for the single cylinder SOX engines the spark plug is placed at a slant angle like this so if i consider this to be the center so the spark should fire like around here with this spark plug the spark is firing at a distant angle so you can see this is a cigarette and consider the top of this as a compressed stove so whenever the piston is compressed the gasoline mixture so the fire should uh, burn the mixture from the top point or the center point if i burn the stroke from a slant angle or a slightly distant angle what happens is So as you can clearly see, when the spark plug hits on from a side angle, what I mean is start burning from a single side and the total uh, burnout of this particular piston will take from the only the right side of it. So with every burn or every stroke of it, the piston will take the overall heat from only the right side. But as soon as I burn this from the center, what happens is look carefully. I hope you have seen this already, but not from this point of view. Now, as you can see, I have pointed the spark plug from the center of it and As you can see, it starts burning from the entire surface of the piston. So there you have it. I don't smoke and I don't promote smoking. But yeah, this is just for the science. So yeah, guys, uh, there you have it. Uh, the, all the iridium spark plugs I have already covered in this video. If you found this video helpful or you have found this uh, video informative in such manner that clear out your doubts or even you are trying to install the NGK spark plugs and you are searching for the compatible one, I hope this video helps you out. So yeah, if it does, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in a similar kind of informative video in the next one. See you. Bye.